In Activity 8, Living Things in Seasons, students explore how plants and animals are affected by seasonal changes in light, temperature, and precipitation. They also learn how people's activities and clothing choices are affected by the seasons. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 8, Glue Sticks, Black Marker, Shelf Paper, The Seasons Poster Set, and Masking Tape. You will also need to provide crayons or pencils, scissors, clothing and equipment representing each of the four seasons, my favorite season chart from Activity 7, photographs of an apple tree in four seasons, and photographs of seasonal clothing and activities. To prepare for Session 1, collect articles of clothing and sporting goods appropriate for each season and place them in a large bag or box. Cut an 8-foot length of shelf paper and use a marker to divide it into four 2-foot sections. Label the section at the top with the names of the seasons. Collect catalogs and magazines with pictures of people wearing seasonal clothes and doing seasonal activities. Each pair of students will need an assortment of seasonal pictures, a pair of scissors, and a glue stick. To begin Session 1, remind students that in Activity 7, they learned about the four seasons. Ask, did any of your weather pictures make you think of things that you like to do in each season? Discuss what activities students like to do in the four seasons, and then ask students, why do we do different activities in different seasons? Students should understand that because weather is different in different seasons, Certain activities are good in some kinds of weather, but not in others. Show students the bag or box of seasonal clothing and gear. Invite students to take turns reaching into the bag or box without looking. Bring out one item and identify it. For each item, ask, if you saw someone using this, what season do you think it would be? For example, a sun hat would be used in the summer or a mitten would be worn in the winter. As each item is identified and discussed, set it aside with other items appropriate to the same season. When all items have been identified, there will be four small piles of gear, one for each season. Unroll the sheet of shelf paper and distribute the materials. Tell students to glue pictures in the section where it belongs. When students have finished, Discuss the pictures they have chosen for each season. To conclude Session 1, let students know that in the next session they will learn how animals and plants are affected by the changing seasons. To prepare for Session 2, make a copy of Activity Sheet 8 for each student. Set up the Seasons poster where all students can see. To begin Session 2, discuss the Seasons poster you have displayed. Remind students that we change our activities and clothing to match what the weather is like. Explain that plants and animals also are affected by the changes in temperature, light, and precipitation that happen as the seasons change. Ask students, how do some trees change when fall comes? Most students will know that leaves on some trees change color, then fall off the tree. Explain that plants make their own food in the green parts of their leaves. In the fall, the weather gets cooler and drier, and the days get shorter. There is not enough light and water for plants to make food, so the leaves of some trees change from green to other colors and fall to the ground. Next, draw students' attention to the plant photographs on the left side of the poster and discuss the changes they see in the tree as the seasons change. In the fall, the leaves have bright colors and many are on the ground. In the winter, trees have no leaves and may be snow covered. In addition, grasses, flowers, and other plants sometimes look as if they're dead in winter. In spring, tiny green plant shoots begin to grow from the ground. Trees begin to get buds and tiny leaves, and many plants have flowers. Lead students to recognize that in spring, temperatures generally rise and there may be more rainfall than in other seasons. The warm weather and rain help plants grow. In summer, plants change from new 
young plants to adult plants. Students should observe the ripe peaches and large green leaves on the peach tree and the full-grown corn plants. When you have finished discussing the plants, turn to the animals shown on the posters and ask, when are many animals born? Students may know that many animals are born in spring. Point out the newborn lambs and the bird eggs on the spring poster. Help students understand that being born in spring means the baby animals has several months to grow and get strong before winter comes again. Go on to discuss that young animals grow up during the summer. Then in the fall, they are doing things to get ready for winter. Some of them, like the geese, are moving to a warmer place. Others, like the squirrel, are gathering and storing food. Then explain that some animals sleep through the winter. Introduce the word hibernate to describe this special kind of sleep. The hibernating animal in the poster is a dormouse. Also, the fur of some animals, such as some rabbits and foxes, gets thicker in winter and may change color so the animals can hide from danger. Finally, distribute one copy of Activity Sheet 8 and a box of crayons or colored pencils to each student. Point out the bare tree in each box. Explain that the tree in the picture is an apple tree. First, write the name of a season at the bottom of each box, making sure the names are in the correct order. Then, color in the apple tree to show what it looks like in each season. Help students by displaying photos of an apple tree in four seasons, if available, or show the Delta Science Reader Big Book. To conclude session two, Display the class season mural and the season's posters. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.